uh, theater. This is uh, MGM and Fox. Uh, <laughs> the Havitz Chaim Heritage Foundation has put together a, uh, a beautiful presentation from some of the great rabbis of the generation to inspire us, bring us to mourning and crying and realizing what we lost with the temple, and to bring us to a place of inspiration. This year, the theme is Love Your Brother. And it's a very important thing. that the Jewish people, we have to get rid of the, the baseless hatred between each other. We have to really realize that every soul, everybody that you're talking to is in the Shemrins. They call it the Selim Elohim, created in the image of God. And this beautiful world that God created, right? It's created in each of us. We're a miniature. We're a microcosm of the greater macrocosm of the universe. The miracle of the stars is no more or no less than the miracle of our physical bodies. Havetz Chaim Foundation has put together these presentations for the Jewish community on this day to be inspired, to heal the nation. One, we don't realize it. No other nation, what other nation in the world, I'll ask you, has commandments about what you can say and what you can't say. Look at the American elections, the campaign right now. They call each other whatever they want. They have no restrictions. The Jewish people, the Havetz Chaim teaches us from his Sefer Lushen, Hara, his Sefer, right, for Shmir Salashen, 31 different commandments about what you can and what you can't say with your mouth. No other people in the world. That's a proof of the godliness of the Jewish people. And the power of life and death rests in the mouth. When we were kids, we heard sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never harm me. That's an absolute lie. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but names will kill you. <laughs> you got to watch out what comes out of your mouth. It's lethal. You say one thing about a person, you can hurt him with hundreds of people, thousands of people. This presentation that we're making here and set this up to be a service to the community to remind people how important it is for people to care about each other, to worry about each other, not worry in the bad sense, worry when people have problems to make it your problem, to see if you can help them to get out of it, to help people to live a good, strong, healthy life, right? That's our purpose. So this is the little movie theater that we set up, our little MGM theater, right? So that people from the community can come and be inspired for a couple hours on this fast day recognizing and remembering the structure of the temple, that we should raise and elevate ourselves from this. Right? Look at this. The Jewish people for 2,000 years have been mourning. There's two programs that they do every year. They give us program A and program B. So it's going to be up to the group to choose what you want to watch. Right? I don't, I'm not going to make the choice, you know, so we can just choose. By the way, the suggested donation is 20, 20 shekels. And after the, after the um, show... When you go out, there's a beautiful picture of the Havitz Chaim, that famous video that they caught recently, and they made a still shot of his, you can see his face and his whole presence in the film, and a, and a pamphlet on the, the, the um, facilities and the programs that are available by telephone from the Havitz Chaim Foundation every day for free. This building, who else mourns for something for 2,000 years? That's how important. We want our father to come home and live in our midst. Our father is in exile right now. That's what the temple really means. And our father is in exile. We want our father to come live. We're all living in the neighborhood. We got food on our table. We got challah on Shabbos. We got wine. We got delicacies. We got friends. We got yeshivas. But guess what? Imagine now if you were a family. You were a, a, a mother and a father and children. And now the, the grandfather or the father of that family couldn't come and move back. He was in exile. How would you feel? There'd be something lacking. Your father can't even come live with you. He's in exile. That's the way we feel right now. Our father's in exile. We want him to come home and live amongst us and lead us and guide us and direct us because the Jewish wisdom comes from the elders, not from the young kids to the olders, from the elders down to the young children. We want our ultimate teacher and guide and, and mentor back. That's what this is about.